Hello, my name is James Wells, and I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks for editing in Logic Pro 10. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to show you is uh, how to zoom. Um, you have a couple options. Uh, these two uh, menu boxes up here uh, basically give you uh, left click, right click, or left click and uh, control click options uh, for tools. Um, I usually have been setting, or I've been finding myself setting this to the fade tool very often. Um, but uh, the other tool that's in here is the zoom tool. And you set your left click to the zoom tool, draw a box, and it'll zoom into it, basically. It's the simplest way to do it. Um, and then click off of it, and it shrinks it back down again. Uh, the other way to do zooming, which I find uh, better, um, is to hold down the Option key, and you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse uh, to s make it bigger, fatter. Uh, the other way um, is left and right, and that'll condense or expand. Now, uh, one of the most important things about zooming, especially when you're doing that expand, is find the spot you want to zoom into first. So, you know, make sure your playhead's kind of at that area, whatever that spot happens to be. Then hold it down and expand it. Oh, not contract it, sorry, expand it. Because now it will expand at the spot that you're looking to edit at. And nine times out of ten, when you're zooming, that's what you're looking to do. You're looking to, to do that edit. Okay? The next thing you want to learn how to do um, is uh, is the grid. Um, basically, you have a, a snap to grid functionality. Um, that's so that things stay kind of in time, especially if you've recorded audio. You know it's in time because it's been recorded to click. Uh, you want it to snap to the right uh, sections of your of your piece. Uh, just to, you know, choose uh, choose your options over here. So smart snap is basically the logic way of uh, you know kind of guessing where you want it to snap to. Um, you know, in this case, it's snapping uh, to the to individual tiny beat markers within. Uh, so you can snap anything here: quarter note, um, half note, sixteenth note, thirty-second note. Um, and all those options are available to you. Uh, you can also get um, a lot more uh, specific to exactly what you want. So if you know for a fact that uh, you're only going to want to snap it. To the next bar over, you know, say something. Uh, you came in a bar early. Uh, you know it's in time, but you just want it to move over to one bar. Um, then the way to do that would be to uh, choose choose bar as your snap functionality. And then this, of course, will now only snap between bars. All right. So drop it there. Boom. Okay. Perfect. Um, so some of the Getting into the editing features, one of them that you're going to use a lot, uh, split at playhead. So um, again, you find the spot that you want to split at. Usually, it's a transient. Find something like that. Um, you can just uh, Control, sorry, Command T, and that'll split it. That's a good one. Uh, as you can see now, these are properly split. And of course, the uh, let's move it over. And of course, the other option to that is uh, if you want to glue things together, glue them back together. You can go uh, shift and select all of the thing parts that you want to glue and then uh, command J does it. All right. And of course these menu items are all also available by right clicking on the actual audio file and it gives you a whole list. Uh, so if you're unsure, um, it, the quickest way to find anything out is just to go there. Um, what I've been doing is I've been even just looking at what the hotkey is for it and then uh, and then not to uh, not actually clicking on the menu item, like, you know, coming here and going join. Um, what I've been doing is just memorizing what the hotkey is, popping out, and then using the hotkey, uh, just kind of reinforcing the idea so that I, I memorize it. Um, so another thing that you're going to do a lot, fading. Uh, fades are important, of course. Um, there is a feature uh, in here, um, right in the edit track here, it says snap edits to zero crossing. That's uh, what our professor was talking about, about wanting to snap things uh, to at the lowest point so it avoids um, those volume points, so it avoids those clicks and pops. Um, so I'll leave that on. Um, and now in this case, I've got my fade tool set as my right click. So I have to use the modifier key, which is command. And then I can move over to the edge here, and I can make fades just by dragging. Uh, once the fades are made, I can change the curvature of those fades by you know pulling or pushing uh, within that area, okay? 
Um, you can do crossfades uh, automatically. So if you have two separated regions, um, like these two are right now, uh, I can now overlap them if I want. And because I got it set to bar, of course, it's going to snap to the bar. But now it'll automatically crossfade. And then you can change what type of crossfades. You know, standard crossfade, equal power, S curved. There. Uh, one last thing to talk about uh, is the trim feature. Uh, the trimming is just done at the ends here. Um, basically, once you go to the end, it'll give you this kind of a, a, an image, and then you can just trim this, the regions of your clip. Of course, um, it's going to trim according to your grid. Okay. Um, generally, with Logic, uh, you can leave your grid to uh, Smart Grid. Smart Grid seems to kind of cover all your bases, and it's only really when you need something very specific um, that you can you know, move away from that. But you can get right in there and get tiny little increments, right? And Smart Grid's pretty good about figuring it out. Uh, I think that's covered all my bases, so thank you very much for listening.